Hello, 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 hi, welcome to my sewing space. For those who don't know me, my name is Beauty Malopula and this is my channel. Um, as you can see, I have a sewing machine in front of me, a different one from the one that I usually use. So this one is called um, MPCell Expression Sewing Machine, model number 889. So if you want to see more of this machine, please stick around and yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. The sewing machine comes in this box, uh, nothing fancy about it, just a strong box for a very heavy machine, <laughs> yeah, I find the machine very heavy um, compared to the one that I have, the brother machine, but at least there's a handle to carry all that weight and the handle also doesn't look like it's going to break anytime soon, so I like that. Once you take that out, then there's another box that's covering the machine, which is the polystyrene box. And that is just used to cushion the sewing machine during transportation, uh, just to avoid the sewing machine getting damaged. This is what the box looks like from the other side. Nothing fancy. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open this box so you can see the real machine. Starting with the front view of the machine, there's a stitch selection menu where you have your basic stitches as well as decorative stitches. In total, there's 18 stitches, although they are numbered 1 to 22. Next to it is a stitch selection wheel to actually select the type of stitch you want to use looking at the menu on the side. This here is a uh, tension wheel or tension dial, whatever you may call it. I'm not sure what is the range. I think it ranges from 1 to 5 if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, I'll just write it here at the bottom. Um, this is a reverse button. You use it when you want to secure your stitching. Let's have a look at the top. Can I say that I like these modern machines because they have these uh, illustrations on top and I like it. So looking at the first picture there, the spool must be like that. And then on the second picture, the spool must be like that. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. By the way, these two pins are called spools. So I'll just, um, just show you what's on the illustrations there. So the first picture looks something like that. Okay, so you're just going to take that out, flip the spool, and then insert it again. And then you can have your thread on there okay now this short pin here is called a bobbin spool um yeah it's shorter than the normal one it's metal it's very strong um when you move it you can hear the sound okay so when you are winding the bobbin you move it to the right and then when you're done uh, going back to normal sewing you will move it back uh, to the left on the left here uh, you have there's a what's called sorry that's a thread guide yeah and then yeah that's also a thread guide and then i like this handle i must say i like it i like it and also the fact that it's hidden able you couldn't even see it yeah i like that Let's have a look at the right hand side of the machine uh, that is a hand wheel so when you rotate it it moves the needle up and down as you can see and guys please always rotate the hand wheel towards you and never away from you when you're sewing then this knob here is called a stitch length controller it basically just selects how long or short um, you want to stitch 
and then the other options there are just for decorating uh, stitching I'm just gonna leave it at four for now because that's just a uh, basic or normal go-to length down here there's an air vent please avoid covering this area with a stash of fabric or anything at all otherwise the machine will overheat in the socket goes in this cord and this cord splits into two one is for the foot pedal and then the second one goes into the wall socket now coming to the connection of this cord into the machine it is very smooth i like it i'm not complaining but i just hope as time goes it won't get too loose this button here it's a power switch it's a on and off button and as soon as i put that on the led light comes on automatically from this view we can see the presser foot lever that controls the foot up and down so before you slide in or pull out your fabric the presser foot needs to be up as well as the needle over here we have a tiny lever at the back of the presser foot and that is to release the presser foot that's a sewing needle over there and next to it is a needle clamp screw this is to loosen or tighten the needle it's very important not to make it the screw very tight because you don't want your needle breaking or making it too loose to fall off once you start sewing and that is a screwdriver it's a flat screwdriver just to make your life easy Okay, the other thing that i want to show you is the teeth i don't know what's the other name um if you know any name please comment down in the comment section um but i just let's just call it uh feeding teeth right so what happens is when you move the wheel can you see what happens there just pay attention so once you move the wheel the hand wheel the teeth move right so they move forward now I need to give you advice when you are feeding your fabric into the machine those teeth automatically once you move the wheel they propel your fabric to move forward so make sure that when you're sewing you don't hold your fabric too tight especially if you're working with a, um, a stretchy material because otherwise it's gonna it's just it's gonna start creating waves on your fabric and you don't want that my piece of advice for the day yep that's how you drop it and that's how you put it back on easy peasy let us have a look into the bobbin compartment what i just removed now is called extension table also known as accessory storage box so this is what the bobbin looks like the bobbin compartment and then there's a cover to it I won't say much about it we'll talk about it later now coming back to the storage box can you see the storage goes in there but i don't advise you to put like small things like a bobbin like extra bobbin or like tiny pieces because they're just gonna fall off honestly i've tried it so don't do it all right so to put back to put back this uh storage box um i'll show you now you just slide it in there so there's a groove there and then that pin that goes on the side as well and that's it here's a few accessories that came with the box um, they came in this plastic sleeve sorry I'm just gonna throw them on the table and I'll just show you one by one there. So, I've got this uh, bobbin threaded already, I like that. I've got a sewing needle and then the two spool pins. I don't think the spool pins were in this plastic, but anyway. Twin needle, I love that, Kessan. Hey, and then this thing, I, I'll figure it out later. This is for the buttonhole. this is a seam ripper that 
остаться за пфудж. Screwdriver. And another screwdriver. So that's the flat screwdriver. Remember, I showed you already how it goes. So it goes over there. Hi, Kisan. Coming to this belly over here. I actually don't know what this is. Honestly, it's my first time seeing it. But anyway, I actually just figured it out. Because it looks like it goes in there, doesn't it? Yeah, I just don't know what it's called, but I think it goes in there. Also, it feels so flat, um, it feels so smooth. So maybe it's used um, in cases where you don't want the teeth taking up your fabric. I don't know what kind of fabric, but I'm just, I'm just guessing, you know. I'm not saying I'm right, but if you do know what this um, little thing is called, please comment down below. And that's it for today's video guys i hope you liked it i hope it was useful to you now if you're looking into buying a new sewing machine this is another brand that i would recommend well this specific machine i think i like it it does job honestly or if you bought the machine congratulations okay so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't till we meet next time